Well, iPhone 10s Max, you've been a good friend, been all over the country with me, and filmed every single minute of dub life thus far until today. But now you get to go home to someone else. Thanks for the memories. Squeeze it. Hey friends, welcome to episode 49 of Dub Life. And I am standing on the deck of my parents' house, the backyard, in buttery smooth 4K 60 FPS on the front facing camera of my new iPhone 11 Pro Max. That's what it's called, yeah. And uh, I love it, so I hope you enjoy and can notice the difference. So on my previous phone, the iPhone XS Max, 10S Max, uh, the front facing camera shot 1080 at 60 was its max. And uh, I was shooting in 4K 24 on the rear facing camera. Now everything is 4K 60, which is great. So uh, I won't have to do as much uprising. It'll make editing a little easier. And uh, hopefully it's just smoother and more enjoyable for you. Uh, I'm uh, glad to have it. I actually flew the drone some this morning. There's some uh, development, construction development um, over there somewhere that's taking out some of the trees of the forest in my parents' neighborhood, and Mom's a little worried about that. Uh, so I wanted to do some flyovers, get some pictures. I don't think it will disturb her area. It's a, a pretty good distance away, but I did that, um, and that was fun. So, uh, spending time with technology, got the new Apple Watch 5. Look at that lovely red, all red face, a big one. Uh, my previous Apple Watch was the third generation. Uh, and so that one will go to my dad. I think he had the second generation. I'm going to give that to David. Uh, we'll stop by and see David tomorrow. Um, so my friends and family, I tend to uh, allow to use and have my technology when I'm done with them rather than uh, just sell it on eBay or whatever. I don't, you know, I don't need that extra money. I'd rather just share it with people that need it. So we try to keep everybody equipped that's in the uh, Apple world with us. So excited about that. Uh, I'm glad to be getting back into some technology. Um, for whatever reason, I had been not doing as much of that, spending too much money on other things. So uh, hopefully I'll do some more of that. I really need to look at a new drone because uh, my drone's now a couple years old, but I love it still. Uh, so anyway, uh, I am at my parents' house. We're here to celebrate my birthday, Victoria's birthday. Even though Victoria's sick, she got con crud from Dragon Con. So, uh, she's not feeling well. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do today. We're probably going to go eat. Um, we may go to Sheely's and eat. I would like that, but I don't think Victoria's up to that. So I don't know if mom and dad want to do that without her. Uh, we're going to watch some football tomorrow. We'll watch some football. Uh, I'm going to see David and Megan. Uh, Megan's due date is five days away so we are really in the sweet spot where baby could be here at any point um then monday i probably need to go to gamestop and pick up a uh, link's awakening that i pre-ordered for the switch and some amiibo uh then tuesday victoria and i hopefully she feels better we're gonna go to a game of thrones concert so that's what this video will entail so it's a saturday to tuesday kind of thing and then we'll be right back at it a couple days later for episode 50 where we're gonna go to greep fest and uh, i don't know what else so should be good Real quickly, I'm going to uh, spin the camera around and uh, we're going to do a little bit with these new three camera features, show you what it's like. So we're filming here with the ultra wide camera and there's a new UI where I think I can just quickly slide to the next one. There you go. So that's the regular camera there. And then I can slide it up to the, I think, uh, oh, and that's the, uh, whatever you call it, the close-up camera, the telescopic camera. So wide, regular, telescopic. And those are three different lenses. And uh, that may have been herky-jerky. I apologize if it was, but it was all happening without me having to stop. Uh, it can all do it while the video continues, which is cool. So this is just the back. Uh, Mom's got that pergola she's put in there where that gate is and uh, I've shown you in the past Let's see this area back there. The trees kind of blocking it is where her prayer garden is and the creek is back there 
and now we zoom back out. So that's not a technique I'll probably use that much as the zooming while I'm videoing because I know that can be disorienting for you. However, once Filmic Pro updates their um, app for the new iPhone, the new iOS, where you can film uh, screen and screen, or you could be looking at me like up here in the corner of your screen, I could have my feed of me talking to you as well as what I'm showing you. That we will start to try to incorporate, especially when I'm looking at toys and stuff in Toy Store. So anyway, it's a beautiful day here. And uh, let's get this episode started. Squeeze it. And fast forward, Sheely's Barbecue. We are in Leesville, South Carolina. Going to Sheely's Barbecue, the very best restaurant on earth. Mom and dad and I, mom and dad are up there going to get in line. As am I. And this is exciting. Look at this gentleman's beard. Can you see him? That's significant. This is going to be great. It's uh, about 1230. Some college football games are all kicking off. So hopefully it's not terribly busy. Thursday, Country Fried Steak, 4 to 9. Unfortunately, it's not Thursday. I think I've been here a few times, but let's eat. Watching the Bizarre Foods. I didn't know that they had been on Bizarre Foods in Travel Channel. I gotta check that out. Part two at Sheila's Barbecue. Well, the cook is always right. I agree with that. Mm. Mm. Mom, are you gonna get chicken or barbecue? Or both? Chicken. Chicken? Gravy Are you going to get that uh, syrups from the counter on the way out? Yeah, I do need to get it. I'm out of vanilla, so I need to Oh. Oh, yeah. That's what we need. Macaroni cheese. Did you get macaroni cheese? No. Oh. Mom's getting some chicken. We got barbecue. Mm. Over there to the table. Oh, yes. Do you need a couple more legs? I think I've got chicken and multiple barbecues and beef. Oh, uh, no. Lots of stuff. Oh, tea. Sweet. Delicious. All right, mom's having a bite. What are you having a bite of? Tell the good people. Some crack one? All right, show them. Yeah. You have it. Take a bite. Is it delicious? It's delicious. Yay. I'm going to have some barbecue beef. Barbecue beef. Mmm. That's just a Mmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's look at that chicken. Look at the close up of that chicken. That's what you need in your life. Close up of the vegetable soup. In the 4K 60 FPS. This is a good new iPhone test. Chicken soup, corn, barbecue. Yeah, agree. Dad's Dad's got chicken bonanza on his side. Delicious. Walking out of what's that? Coconut. Walking out of Sheely's. I gotta drive. It's about uh, 40 miles from my parents' house. So I'll drive us back home and try not to fall asleep from food coma. Because food coma is inevitable. Are you going to fall asleep on the car on the way home? Huh? No. Dad will. Did you ever go when, when you lived here to the Ridge Poultry Festival? No. Well, I'm sure we did. That sounds like a now. place to be there. We should take a little picture. Yeah, I agree. There's a lady that walked in. We, we brought a to-go sack home. A lady walked in with two dozen to-go to -go, yeah, whole meal. A to -go, uh, two dozen Krispy Kreme Hot Fresh now brought them into Sheely's. And it makes me want to go in there and get a pulley bone and put it between two donuts and eat that. There you go. That sounds yummy to me. Mom, are you full of full foods? I am full. It's now time for nap, yes? Yeah, here you can look at your magazines. Mom, we stopped at the... Uh, welcome center and they actually had some nice magazines that are in the general area of where i live with uh, restaurants and stuff so i'm gonna look at that but i'm about to have food coma i'll talk to you in a second uh uh b-i-g-p-o-p-p-a i'm in the car i'm actually gonna open up the roofie not roofies no the roof, the moon roof, sun roof, panoramic roof. Cause see, it's big. It goes all the way back, and you can oh, roofing it. 
So uh, I gotta run to Walmart because if you remember last episode, I was trying to get that 11 by 17 frame for a print. Never found it. Went to five different Walmarts over the past week. They all were sold out and uh, it says there's one in stock here and the print has come in, so I need it. Um, so gonna go get that and then get some things for my folks and then come back. So uh, let's do, uh, let's, uh, you know. Little NKOTB for your face piece. Ah, uh, yeah, concert. I get over you. I know I will. I'll pretend my ship's not sinking. No corner you could squeeze me. One last call for alcohol. So finish your whiskey or beer. We've arrived here at the Walmart. I'm Bobby Jones. Um, not the greatest Walmart ever. In fact, uh, you used to never want to come here. I don't know if they've renovated it, but it used to not be a one to go. It looks like they have a PDQ chicken fingers in here. I think that's Tim Tebow's chicken. I've immediately been sidetracked by Lord's Country Meats, Country Cured Pigtails, Country Cured Ham Bits and Pieces, Crackling, Fatback, oh, let's see, Pigtail, I don't know why this is what sidetracked me. There's probably a pig ear in there. No, I don't need this. I'm here for a picture frame and some medicine. And yet I've got Doritos, <laughs> fudge covered Oreos, and I'm in the candy aisle. What am I doing? I know that vinyl's uh, on the comeback, but this is the first time I've seen and at least acknowledged that I was seeing a vinyl section in, uh, in any store, a little Walmart. Appetite for destruction, that's awesome. I understand the appeal, uh, I guess. It's interesting that it's younger folks driving it and not uh, folks that grew up with it. It's not like a vintage play, it's more of a, a whatever. But I understand it. Man, they got a lot of good albums. It's a great album, it's a great album. It's interesting. I haven't paid attention to this really at all. I don't have really a desire for it, but it's cool to see. I've noticed that I don't think any of the Walmarts I've been to recently do have the Space Invaders RK1 up, one of the original waves. I have all of the, oh, I do not have Golden Tea. That's one I don't have. I don't have room though. Oh, $3.99 because it comes with the riser probably. Yeah, custom riser. Well, maybe is Walmart exclusive. Maybe. I wouldn't mind owning that. I just don't have any space, so I have I have space to get the turtles when it comes out. I don't have space for the Marvel one, so I'll have to get rid of some if I want to replace them. And right now, it's not what I want to do because I have a pretty good assortment of old and new stuff. That's cool, though, that Golden T one. That'd be fun to have. Looking at the Switch games. Civilization VI is a Switch game I want. I do have Link's Awakening. It just came out Friday, yesterday. I have it pre-ordered at GameStop. I could have picked it up, but I was busy trying to get the phones ready before I had to drive here. Star Wars Pinball. I'm very excited for that one. I'm going to pick that up on Monday. I'll take you with me, and we'll play it a little bit. There's really not anything of interest here, I don't think. Well, these sold very poorly, so I doubt we'll see another wave of those from McFarlane. Maybe, but I don't feel like we will. Victoria wants a hopper pop. I don't think it's this one. I think there's one where he's, maybe it's that one. Like date night, she called it. Is that the date night one? I don't know. I don't want to get the wrong one. Um, I may have already even got her that one. Oh, look at SDCC, Raj and Howard and Leonard. Antetokounmpo, the legends. There's the one multiverse, Katana. So they had the Killer Croc here. I think that's Killer Croc, right? Yeah. It's a bad looking. If that's their final wave. Uh, there's nothing. Nothing anybody's looking for there, I don't think. A bunch of Dazzler. That's unusual. Some Dragon Stars. Oh, Beerus. It's a good looking Dragon Star. 
Optimus, Starscream, old meat sweats, humongosaur. There's my cart thus far. You see, I'm serious about my business. Let's see. The Overwatch, Ultimates, two pack. I don't know. I know Adonis is collecting that line. I think. Beyblades, Bendy. Hmm. Not much going on here. Megs, it's on this side. Oh, Ducky and Bunny. Let's see. Now hold on, I have a question. Who will Bonnie love more, Ducky or me? Say me. Me. I'll say Ducky. Oh, Bonnie. brother, okay. touch it. Um, well, I maybe shouldn't say that in the toy. Oh, let's see. Fortnite, you've got one million of the these that didn't sell well, as cool figures as they are, didn't sell well. There's the McFarlane one. Let's see. Gold Ranger, Beast Morphers Red. That's kind of cool. Also gold. And wrestlers that seem to have been put through it. Daniel Bryan and Strowman. Stone Cold and Austin. No. Nothing for me. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I needed. 11 by 17 francs. Just four bucks. Just everywhere was sold out. I wonder if they're changing. Because every other one I've bought has had that thing in it. And these have this this one. And that has that one. So I wonder if this is the, like the new style. Yeah, 2019 Walmart. And what does this say? 2017. Walmart, yeah. So maybe they're just updating them, and so as they sell through, it takes a while for them to come back in, but that's what I needed. Thank goodness. Well, I got way too much. A lot of stuff that I didn't need. As usual. No toys. That's good. Avoided that trap. A lot of other stuff. Thank you, car. I'm gonna drive back, hang out with the folks, and I'll check back in with you then in a little while. And chaffage is happening. We ate leftover Sheelys, well, to-go Sheelys, and now we've got the Georgia Notre Dame game on. I don't know what Victoria's doing. What are you doing? Playing with my new phone. Playing with the new phone. We're going to watch this game. I want to test out the night mode pictures on this. Do you want to do it? Can I just sit here? Yes. Yes. So I've got the video camera on facing the fireplace. We've turned off the TV. And the overhead light, all only light is this little lamp. You can see the light, the lamp lights up Victoria a little bit, but this fireplace is nothing. So right here, I'm gonna show you the picture that it took with night mode, and you can see the difference, which I think is pretty remarkable. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna try to use it. Mom said we should use it on Christmas lights when it gets time for Christmas. And I think we'll be able to use it at the beach to get nighttime shot to the beach but we're gonna watch the georgia notre dame game and hang out and uh do a lot of nothing so i will talk to you in the morning mom yeah say squeeze it squeeze it yep good morning actually it is uh 12 15 slightly afternoon we just got back from church, and Mom is uh, preparing lunch. And uh, then we're going to watch some football after lunch. The Ravens play the Chiefs, both undefeated in Kansas City. Looks like a rainstorm. Hopefully Baltimore can win that game. But I uh, wanted to welcome you to the day. Uh, I'll be here for about half a day, and then i got to head back to Atlanta. I'm going to stop by and see David and bring him his Apple Watch that I'm giving him. Uh, but I wanted to come back here and uh, show you the area in the back and we'll look at it with the new camera let's check it out so i'm using the ultra wide lens walking through the backyard which is fairly uneven so last time i was here mom had just found this pergola uh oh yeah it looks like they've uh, concreted it in there yeah that's good so i think she's gonna get some vines and whatever and and put plants all around to kind of seal that in so that'll be nice back here and then 
walk over here to her garden. Still using the ultra wide uh, lens, uh, which I think still is shooting in 4K 60. I don't know what the little water bottles are. I'm about to ask her that. I wonder if that's protecting the plant. Oh, maybe that's a way to water them where she doesn't have to water every day. I bet she learned that on Pinterest. That's what my gut tells me. But here's her uh, prayer garden area. I think some of this is kind of different. I think this area is different. Uh, yeah, this has got to be what's happening here. Is she can fill those bottles up with water, turn them upside down. I don't know. You can see that the creek is really low. Uh, I don't think they've had a lot of rain in a while here. So this is the ultra wide. If I pull it up, here's what the regular camera lens. You can see we pulled back and then I can do the close up. So this is all software changing the lens, which is pretty cool. So that is where we are. Let's go inside and uh, check on lunch. I'm gonna ask mom about these, what these bottles are. Hot pants. I know it smells good. What's this, mashed potatoes? Dressing and turkeys in the oven? No, that's not real dressing, just stuff. Oh, that's all right. You've got other dressings too. Is the, is the, uh, water bottles in the plants down there so you don't you only have to fill the bottles up to water them every once in a while is that pinterest where'd you learn that well yeah and i bought these little things these oh is there some type of valve yeah. thing yeah actually i actually got it so we when i went to gatlinburg so dad oh so you didn't, you can do it so i don't know what was going on yeah mike when he did when he did my thing out you know my arbor he said he thought it was a pit sentence i wasn't sure what was happening Oh, roll oh, all kind of action in there. It smells good. That's exciting. Look how yummy that turkey looks. And gravy and dressing and taters and peas. Ooh, herbs. Yes. Yes. That's the birthday lunch. My favorite. So I'm getting another plate of food, but it's game time, so I have to put yeah. on the jersey. Yeah, go Ravens. And hopefully not get gravy on you it. You go wear an apron on it. No, because I've not worn an apron before, and they're 2-0. Oh. That's right. <laughs> so I can't, I can't take the chance. I'm worried because my undershirt is not the same. I'm going to blame it because it was not clean. And I didn't realize that until as I was leaving. I'm like, do I delay two well, hours to launder? Then. Or, uh, true. A game warm jersey, a been old stank booty, but I'm getting another plate of food. All right, I got Red Zone on. You see the outside. First time I've watched Red Zone during the uh, early hour all season. The Ravens have played early every week, and uh, when I'm home, I can get it and put it over. And I just watch the Ravens. And I did uh, one of the afternoons, I watched Red Zone for the second set of games. And that meant took a nap. But uh, we don't have the Ravens locally here. Just got to watch Red Zone. And uh, that's what we're about to do. So fun times. I am rocking the Doritos Tutti Frutti that I got at Walmart yesterday as I watch the Red Zone just right out the bottle. Yeah, spotlight player of the day, Lamar Jackson. Highest rated passer in football through two weeks. That's quality, Lamar. Do it to it. Get in there, Ingram. Yes, big Ingram. That's a great way to start the game. Well, the Ravens lost. That's okay. They played, uh, actually played not great. Chiefs played really good, and uh, but they came back and almost won. Only lost by five, I think. It was a good game. And it was fun to watch football with my dad the last couple days and some time with mom. Victoria is not feeling well, so we didn't get to see her much. Uh, but we will see her in a couple of days. For the Game of Thrones concert, hopefully she feels better. So now I've got to head back to Atlanta. I'm going to stop by and see David and Megan. So uh, next clip, we'll check in with them. Look, now I'm here with all of the toys. And I know that everybody misses this guy because he's only been on like 45 seconds of the last four episodes. You know how like when you watch a TV show 
and uh, like your favorite character enters contract disputes as an actor because they want to get paid more. That's what people think has happened. You're in contract disputes, and that's why you're never on the episodes anymore. Basically. Yeah. Probably going to be a few more before we have more. Is that Barney Rubble right there? Mm -hmm. Look, I have a prize for you. Do you want to see it? I have this, uh, that. Sack? Yeah, sack. Ooh. Do you like that? Furby. Or wide lens in it. He's looking at his Mr. Watchy. Do you want to set it up? Ooh, with the look at that with the wide with the ultra wide, I can capture the whole front of the room in the video. Oh, that's pretty cool. Does that make you happy? Hey Google, turn on the turtle layer. Ooh, what about Mr. Phoenix? Do you want him to get turned on? Hey Google, turn on the turtle layer. And squeeze it. Okay, turning the turtle layer on. Oh, did you super glue your lights back up? No. Oh, <laughs> that's for me. Which is my second one because I got the one for thirty-five dollars, Dragon Con, and that Vega is for me. Yay! <laughs> Prizes. David, what are those fishies' names? Oh, I'm zooming in and zooming out on Mr. Fishies. Ooh, squeaky, squeaky! He just told me his name was Rudolph. That's not true. Oh, what would you say is your favorite discovery of your Apple Watch so far? That you can send me walkie-talkie messages and I can't say no and they just appear? Yep. Oh! So I'm on my way back from David's house and there was a Checkers in a gas station here. Uh, mm, checkers fries are so good. And I stopped to talk to you because they had mozzarella sticks flavored like their french fries with the seasoning. And I wanted to try that for you. So here goes. Oh, that's pretty good. It tastes like a big old checkers fry, but then it's got the cheesy goodness of a mozzarella that's a very interesting fresh so i got some fries mozzarella stick and a burger i still got like 30 minutes before i'm home wonderful i arrived home and this is where you can poo with poo and look that's my new one the justice league with the frame that it took me way too long to find and now i have all of these prints around the house that Dan Doherty has made and I love them. I'm upstairs now. There's the wizard. There's old Rick Grimes. Step in here. So I know that David stopped by and uh, tried to finish up some things while I was at my folks house this weekend. He had to be in the area for a car service so he had some time to kill. So let's go investigate what's happening at the arcade. I'm not sure if I've shown you this sign. Big Dubs Arcade, welcome friend. Welcome friend, Seductive Steve sent me that for my birthday. So if you walk in, you should be familiar with this. Except, look, skateboards on the wall. And look, the other shelf is hanging. And look, LEDs underneath it. How fabulous is that? Let's walk over here and check these things out. These are the ones that if you saw Atlanta Comic Con video and the Get Geeked Expo in Michigan video, these are the things that we got signed. And they look wonderful. So that's signed by the four original voice actors for the Cartoon Turtles. And this is signed by three of the four and Shredder from suit actors from the first movie. And that's just wonderful. They look so good up there. And then this shelf, I know we're gonna have to do something different with the LEDs to get them to stay up there better, but it gives a backlighting for the game. And look, we got some Nintendo characters up here. Metroid, Mega Man. We got the SH Figure Arts Mario set, which I think is an awesome set. Looks a lot of fun there. That's cool. And then we put the Zelda. These are either Nendoroid. Those are Nendoroid there. 
Nendoroid, and then this is the Figma ones that have come out. Nendoroid, Figma. And they look fantastic, and then I also spent some time putting other figures down there. And so all the shelves and cubbies have stuff, and this is basically now complete. So be on the lookout. I'm going to do a formal arcade tour as its own video at some point here in the future, or it may already be out. But look how cool that is. And again, shout out, thank you to David, because that just looks tremendous on the wall. Got this shelf up. It looks awesome. Well, folks, I think that will do it for today's part of the video from the lovely arcade. I'm actually going to turn on the Emmys. Uh, I don't think any of the drama announcements have happened. Cheering from my friends from Game of Thrones, hoping they win. Uh, I did want to mention uh, CB Hunts, CB Space Hunts YouTube channel, or Big Papa Chris on Instagram. Uh, he just posted a video. As you're watching this, it'd be about two weeks ago. I think it's called Overwatch Hall and Storytime. Uh, but, uh, he actually talks about how, uh, our Dub Life videos, our Dub Life family, that's all of you, all the people that appear on my videos, all of you that watch, um, have helped he and his mother have a better relationship, help his mother to understand, um, his hobby more, and now she helps him hunt for stuff, and I love it. So, uh, Big Papa, shout out to you, uh, Big Mama Hunts, Mama, Chris's Mama, I don't know, thank you for uh, watching the videos and, and more importantly, just uh, taking the time to invest in your son because that's what it's about, right? No matter what our hobby is, uh, no matter what it is, it's all about who we're with, showing love, doing things together that bring us joy, all of this kind of stuff. It doesn't matter, it's the stories. Every, almost everything in here has some type of story. All these black and whites up there, you saw us open on a video, it's, it's memorable of my friends. I've got these things that are memorable of trips that I took with my friends. All, almost everything in here is something like that or has a special memory to me. There's things that people made for me. Uh, Rabbit Hammer over there made that Ezekiel. It's just these a lot, a lot of these figures are gifts from various folks. And it's just really meaningful. So that's what it's about, right? Doing things that we love with people we love and building memories and experiences. So anyway, Double Life keeps going. I'll talk to you in the morning. Hello folks, welcome to day three of the video. It is Monday, it's approaching lunchtime, uh, but I'm not gonna take a lunch break today. I'm actually gonna work through lunch and uh, because I've got a lot to do, but I'm going to have a bigger dinner because today is the first day that I can use my Olive Garden never ending pasta pass. So we're gonna do that this evening. Uh, I do have to go to GameStop pick up some stuff, so we'll do that. The Olive Garden's like directly across the street. From that, so that works well. Uh, I did put on pants today, which is good. But uh, I got a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna be working here for a bit. And uh, when it is time to head to GameStop and Olive Garden, I'll check back in. But I wanted to say hello, because I hadn't done it yet. And you know what? We're gonna put fettuccine Alfredo in the tummy tum. Oh yes, it's time. Get ready for nine weeks of never ending pasta. Unlimited servings, pasta, sauce, toppings, soup, salad, breadsticks, tremendous. Gotta go to GameStop and then it's time for day one of Pasta Pass. We got the Marvel Legends right at the door now, right when you walk into GameStop. Mm. Sets of those. The Jim Lee action. James had the big reset. I think all the game stops had the big reset. So all this used to be back there and now it's up here. Let's see. Cool, thank you. Look at this Dwight Schrute. His belt snuckle. Hmm. Wonder if any of this is new. Buy three, get one free. All these thrones still sitting here. All these months later. Mm. Well, I thought about getting some more of this stuff for the arcade, maybe. Maybe the Pac Man. I have the Ghost. I get the Pac Man or the Triforce. That could also work. 
I don't know about the Xbox or this. I like that Mario lamp. It's cool too. Or the Dragon Ball. That's, oh my. That's expensive. I do think I have one of those is mine. There's Aria and Theon. So Alia. Alia on your GameStop TV. So then this is more of the, well, just more figures back here. A little bit of everything. Space Psycho Blue Ranger. I don't know that I've seen that one. There's a Goldars. And this case is still here. I don't know that that can move, really. I might get those Dragon Balls one day. Maybe. Look at these friends. There's John. There you go. I can't believe I'm buying a pop, but I have that pre-ordered. And Amiibos and Link's Awakening. I'm going to play Link's Awakening tonight. Yeah, how many posters are you going to have next to you when you're playing? Uh, two of the three. Perfect. What dimensions is that poster? An amount of inches by an amount of inches. Do you have a tape measure? You might. That's not, but do it in hectares. 12 by 18. Okay. Look at these presents. Do you have anything to say to the people? They miss you. Hello, Clarice. Oh, well, no, that's over here. Hello, Clarice is over here. I've seen it. Right there. There's hello, Clarice. Do you like the blood splatter on the um, pop box? I think that's clever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, actually, it's, it's, it's good. I don't, uh, do you want the Greta? Nope. Super do not. Do you want any of these? Um, Captain Snowman? <laughs> what are the other holiday ones this year? Uh, there's a Groot up front. Groot Holiday, Rocket Holiday, Thanos Holiday? Yeah. Is that here? <laughs> Thanos in an ugly sweater? Oh. Christmas tree Groot. What's Rocket? It's just like going out in the cold. Do you know that... Oh, Sora, Lion Form. Do you know that today is the... Look, Harry Potter in a tuxedo. That today is the first day of the Olive Garden all-you-can-eat pasta pass that I got. Or I can eat... I can eat as many times as I all the garden from now to like November 22nd, as many times a day as I want for free. I have a little How much card. How that card cost? 100 bucks. How much is your average ticket all garden? The all you can eat pasta is like 12.99. So you have to go there like nine times to make your money back? In, in two months, yeah. I'm oh, gonna go wow. nine times in the next two weeks. <laughs> I'm going today and tomorrow, definitely. So can you like go get your, get in line, then like, Eat like a couple bites, bring it home. No, like and like slide your card on the door and let me come through with it. No, they check your ID actually. Jeez. Yeah. Oh well, package. This is what James is gonna bring home with him. All four of these, my hero academia. Yeah. Yeah, and I want Todoroki. Yeah, pretty good. McFarlane is so inconsistent with stuff. The Harry Potter McFarlane things that just came out on it—they are awful. I don't think you've had them. Yet. Uh, the Wizarding ones were little statues. Not the ones no, they're people. like this. They'll be in a box like this. Okay. They're terrible. It, Ron looks like an old woman going like to knit club. Nice. Be these, so these well. are, I mean, these look good. I this think. line's very popular. This mm -hmm. uh, shoe. Are you, do you like it when that hands on your face like that? Zero percent. Oh, we have arrived. It's go time. Here's what we get for free. Toppings, pasta. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna get fettuccine. An Alfredo and chicken to start with. So you get soup, breadsticks, your pasta, your sauce, your meat. You don't get a drink, but I love their peach bellini tea. Plus, I need something to uh, pay for so I can tip with. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to keep going to get cash every time, and I don't want to do that. Because I still got to tip the people that take care of you, even if it's free. And peach tea is delicious. Bellini peach tea. You should get it when you come to Olive Garden. We've got the Zuppa Toscano, the little cheese, some breadsticks. The soup is top shelf. I love it too. Probably my favorite thing at Olive Garden. Kim has made it before for me from scratch and it's delicious. There we go, fettuccine alfredo with the chicken fritta. It's like the chicken parmesan chicken. That looks great. Look at that. Mmm. That's nice. It's really fresh too because I'm here before dinner, so they're just for me, really. There's not many people here. Let's use the lenses and zoom in. Look at that cheesy goodness there. And chicken. Mmm. -hmm. I like it. 
but we've eliminated round one and here's where you order round two and you eat some of it and save some of it for later and I got this time spaghetti with meat sauce and meatballs and you can see this would have been $10.99 plus the $4.49 I think yeah because that's the most expensive topping I've had so with tax that's like $16.56 so that's $107 minus $16.56 is where I'm at after uh, round one pretty good and that math, I mean, calculating the return on my investment. I invested $107. How much value will I get for that $107? So right now, if I did not come back for the next nine weeks, I would lose like eight bucks. There you go. You see it comes in a smaller bowl. I am not aware of what happens if you get a third. I don't think I've ever done that. It may just keep getting smaller. But look at the meatball. Yes. No way I'm going to eat all this, though. Well, the first experience was lovely. Got a to-go sack with leftover spaghetti meatballs and breadsticks. Chocolates. I'm going to have this chocolate and talk to you when I get home. And I'm back home with my prizes from GameStop. In fact, let me uh, open these guys up and show them to you. And there's something I picked up last week that I'd like to show you. There we go. The Link's Awakening. We'll play that probably in the next clip. Here's the John on Rhaegal. It's kind of cool. It has like his cloak being windswept. He's looking. I noticed that it had this backdrop in the box. I haven't bought a lot of pops in a while. So I don't know if they've been coming with that. But uh, it wasn't attached to the box. You can pull it out. So, I mean, I'm not going to keep it. But I wanted to show you that. Then let's see. We've got Ivysaur. We've got Squirtle. Look at that, how lovely. We've got Snake. And we've got Link from Link's Awakening, and he looks great. So, I'll have to see what the Amiibo do in the game. But those will go to the Amiibo collection. And uh, last week, I don't believe I showed this on video. It was on Instagram and Facebook, I think. But uh, the final... Infinity War Iron Studios piece, which is what most of those are, came in. And that is the Iron Man Mark 50. You could have interchanged and have him using uh, blasters too. But I have the weapons, like his hand blasters. And that looks great, as does the whole Iron Studios display. Got some up there. They just look fantastic. I am ready to play this. These were the free posters they gave away. They're 11 by 17, the same size that I've been looking for frames for the other print. I'm, I kind of like those prints. I know they're just free things, but I may keep them and frame them and find a home for them. I kept my, uh, that up there is from Breath of the Wild. I framed that and I think it looks good. So I may keep that, you know? I don't know. How exciting. Oh. Update. Hopefully it'll go fast. In the meantime, do you know Randall? Randall's a nice gentleman. Sometimes Randall serves up Tootsie Rolls on the weekend. You know what I'm talking about. And not just any Tootsie Rolls, but the big ones. that have the cardboard paper around them. You know, the big log Tootsie Rolls with the cardboard paper. And Randall just serve them up, you know, and then you have a little tootsie in your, in your mouth for Randall, and it makes you ha happy, happy, happy. Uh, let's see, can we get it to work now? Oh, my controller turned off. How about now? Oh, Randall, make it happen for us. Let's see. Ooh, that was not a slow update. That was actually quite fast. Give us Mr. Linky, huh? Mr. Linky. If Randall comes by, Linky, you can meet him as well. You know what I'm talking about. <gasps> Yay! Look at Linky. He's just taking a nap. Don't worry. He'll wake up. And we'll go have some adventures. Yes, adventures. Yes. Especially with that big old egg up there. Woo la la. Oh, that's wonderful. Look how charming it is. 
It's so cute. I love it. This is going to be so much fun. I haven't played this game in probably 25 years. Maybe longer than that. How long ago did it come out? Like almost 30 years ago? Hi, Marin. I'm on Kohala Island. What's my name? Talk. Follow the south lane to the beach where I found you. <laughs> All right. Well, we can do that. Oh, Link Big Dub can help you with that. I mean, do I dare just go right in for the chicken? Right away? Should I do it? Let's see. Can I do this one-handed? Lift. Oh, chicky, 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 chicky! Don't attack me. I bet they will attack me. I don't have a sword yet. All I have is a shield. I can do that. Chickens. Yeah, give us a Zelda music. I got my sword. Playing one-handed, not easy, by the way. Can I hit this thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do work on that piece. Yeah. Come here, you. <laughs> rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Yes. Well, that was fun. I just played through, like, Kind of like the tutorial where you go around the village and talk in the library and get your shield and sword and get ready to really start the game. It's played for like 30, 45 minutes, but I had a good time. I'm excited to play that game. It looks great. It's fun. It's cute. Uh, so I'm going to be digging into that over the next couple weeks. But uh, I'm going to watch Monday Night Football and just kind of rest and relax. And um, tomorrow will be the final day of the video where we're going to Game of Thrones concert. So I need a lot of rest because i got a full day of work and then a long evening. So I'm going to watch some football, go to bed early. Talk to you in the morning. Hey, friends, and good morning. Still technically morning. I've been up for a while. It is almost noon, actually. Uh, I've been working this morning, had a bunch of meetings, got another meeting here very shortly. And then we're going to go back to Olive Garden for uh, lunch. I might die. So the good thing is today is the final day of the video, but it is Game of Thrones concert. That's going to be over in Alpharetta, I think. And uh, Victoria is taking off work early, so she'll actually be leaving here shortly, I think. I'll be here in a few hours. And then we will uh, head in that direction. The concert's at 8 tonight. And it's, yeah, depending on traffic, hour, hour and a half away. Uh, we're excited for that. It's the Game of Thrones concert experience where I think they play a lot of the music from the show and they may have part of the show on the screen. And uh, I don't know. Everybody says it's an incredible uh, thing. So we're really excited kind of closing the Game of Thrones chapter by going to this. The Emmys were Sunday. And uh, so it's a celebration for us. We're excited for it. And uh, I'm grateful to Victoria for uh, making this happen. And we're going to go have a good time. So that's what the day holds. I imagine we may get over there a little early, go to the mall or something, spend some time over there so that we're on that side of town because um, the traffic can be bad, like I mentioned. So next clip, we'll be back at the Olive Garden having some more pasta. In the car. Time to go to Olive Garden. I was just looking through my calendar before I came out and uh, sent a quick email to my sisters for all the plans we've got coming up. So... As I've told you a number of times, as you enter the fall, I get out of con season. I probably won't go back to a con or a toy show or anything like that uh, for a while, to the spring, most likely. Um, kind of conned out. Um, although there is a, every quarter, there's a little, little, little comic show that costs $5. And is uh, you're only in there for like an hour or two. Uh, and I've had some success at that, so maybe I'd go to that. It's right by the house. Um, but other than that, there's not going to be any cons. Uh, but it's festival season, and it's football season. Oh, you can see the garage. Um, so uh, this weekend, so the next episode of Dub Life will be uh, centered around the Greek festival, the Atlanta Greek festival, which we love very much. Uh, then the next episode, I'm not sure. Um, I might go to Corn Maze. I don't know. Uh, that, that will depend on a lot of things. I probably won't have any visitors that week, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and I may go back to see my parents, because that'll be around my older sister Kim's birthday, so we may do something that weekend for that. The following weekend, 
so in uh, several episodes. Uh, we are probably going to the Apple Festival, uh, where we might hook up with Seductive Steve and uh, hang out with him for, for a period of time. We also are going to try to see the Breaking Bad movie that weekend, El Camino, that comes out. So uh, that is a good time. Uh, then the following episode, I'll actually be back a more traditional double life where I'll be on the road. I'll be on the road those couple of weeks in October. So I'll be in New England. So we'll probably do some stuff uh, with that in that area. And then we've got the Halloween party coming up. And then we're going to go see Wicked uh, in an episode after that at the Fox Theater. So we'll be downtown. And then after that, we'll be in Myrtle Beach. So there's a lot coming up in the next uh, period of time. So I just noticed that as I looked at my calendar, um, practically every weekend has something. Either I'm going somewhere, doing something, or I'm traveling around the week. Uh, so it gets, gets busy in the fall. And then we'll be into Thanksgiving and Black Friday and then Christmas and hooray! Let's go get some pasta. Well, we are here again. I'm going to start, I think, this time with... Uh, Maybe the rigatoni, five cheese marinara with this Italian sausage. That kind of sounds good to me right now. It's a lot busier today, but I'm in a booth in the corner of the room. But I'm here, it's like one, right at lunchtime. And I actually see a lot of people with pasta passes here, so Atlanta must have represented well <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the goody acquisition. Yesterday it was like 4.30 when I was here. So it was not very busy, but it's very busy too. I'm gonna get two completely new combinations. How exciting! I'm telling you, if you've not had the Zuppa Toscana soup here, dip a little breadstick in the soup, miss one out. We have the rigatoni with the five cheese marinara and the big Italian sausage and another bowl of soup because I couldn't help myself. Oh man. Eating too much food already. For option two, I think I'm gonna get corkscrew, the cavatappi, creamy roasted garlic, and uh, grilled chicken. I think that'll be option two today. That shrimp tempts me, but some of this will be leftovers. I'm gonna send with Victoria, and I don't think she'll like the shrimp. There's meal two, or option two. That actually smells really garlicky and delicious. This is all new. I don't think I've ever got grilled chicken at Olive Garden, and I know I've never had that creamy garlic sauce. Wonderful. Well, that was again good for lunch. That, uh, the second thing I had, the roasted garlic, was good. It was not like a cheese sauce. It wasn't like a extra garlicky Alfredo or something like that. It was, uh, thank you, Carl. Um, garlic, just garlicky sauce, and it was good. I've never had it. I think I'll get that again soon. I will say, like after I ate here, so I didn't eat anything the rest of the day, not the leftovers either. And I feel that way again, although we may get like a treat or something before the concert, because it's heavy. This is really heavy to eat for lunch. One of the times I'm just gonna eat like salad and a tiny bit of pasta maybe. I don't know, but that's the final Olive Garden trip for this video. I may be dead from Olive Garden by the time the next video comes around, hopefully not rub it. Back home, back at work. Victoria! Yeah. Are you still sick? Unfortunately, yes. Does that mean you're gonna throw up on the Game of Thrones Ramen Jualdi? I don't think he's gonna be there, but no, I'm not gonna throw up. I just might like cough. I have a in the rhythm of the beat at least? I have like a hand I have like twenty seven cough drops in my purse. Punch Planet on Apple Arcade. With the new update, is that exciting? Is that gonna be anything like punch out where I die in the tutorial? You mean when you got knocked out by Glass Joe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Victoria. Yeah. What were you just doing staring at the phone? Were you taking a selfie? I was. And then I was alarmed at it. Alarmed? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, uh, do you want to go to the mall? So we're already in Alpharetta? Yeah. Do you know that I've ate Olive Garden for the last two days and I feel like I should never eat Olive Garden again? <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. 
The viewers are getting ill. The viewers are getting ill. Swine flu. I do know that. I did not realize that you have already had enough after just day two. I had enough yesterday. <laughs> well, maybe you should go and just get one serving. Well, but I get an extra serving and I eat one bite so I can bring it home because there's two to-go's in there for you. So you'd have some to bring home. Well, that's nice. There's four breadsticks and there is um, spaghetti with meat sauce and a big meatball. And there is cavatappi with grilled chicken and creamy roasted garlic. I intentionally did not bring home fettuccine alfredo with chicken fritto because you eat that every single time you go to Olive Garden. I wanted to force you to try new things. Nope, don't do it. Nope. Ah, bird flu. No. Just take a selfie with it. The... Oh, that's a video. We made a pit stop to look at the statues and Victoria has this. How's that make you feel? It's a little terrifying. Terrifying. <laughs> you want me to take it off again? Oh. Oh. Oh, red eyes punisher. Yeah, I'm ready. Do a punisher tactic. Just pose. Oh. All right. I don't think the punisher would do that. We are now at the Avalon in Alpharetta, where Victoria wants to go to the Barley Garden Kitchen and Craft Bar. Uh, no? Not so much. This is a really nice, like, outdoor retail food space. It's very lovely today. It looks like, like this condo. Yeah, place. you can live here. Uh, I've probably never been over here in Dub Life in Alpharetta because it's uh, quite a bit of a haul over here. But this is where the amphitheater is that we're going to tonight, which this weather makes me feel like it's going to be wonderful. Yeah. So we're going to go to Apple Store. We just probably have, like, 30, 40 minutes to kill. So I wanted to look at cases and watch bands. What about you? Watch bands, definitely. Ooh, watch bands and new watch in general. That's true. You can touch it. Oh, that is true. <laughs> well, it feels like we've found the Apple Store because there's a great big glass cube with a little patio outside of it. You think that's it? I believe so, yeah. Man, that sure looks like it. Oh, Apple Store in it. I may end up getting one of these while we're here. The, the new ones that are the two tone. Uh -huh. oh. I like it, yeah. So you get the two tone colors. Look there, so today at Apple, what is he teaching? Some photography? Oh, key light. He's teaching you how to take the key light mono photos. I actually could use that lesson. Apple Watch Studio. How exciting. I just got them sitting here, huh? I wonder if those are real ones or if they're, uh... oh, they seem to be real. Nice. I think that's because you're supposed to be able to now build. Yeah, build your own. I wonder if these, do you think these are the little printers? that Peter had at the birthday party. Oh, maybe. They print the little whatever, magnets and stuff. That's something I could see myself getting. A little quick printer. Or maybe it's that one, the life print. Oh, this is also life print. Those are cool. Especially to have at parties. Osmo Mobile 3 Combo. I have an Osmo, I think the first one they made for, for, no, the second one. But it did not have the tripod stand like that. I don't know how much that guy is. 140 that's cheaper than I paid. I think they've come down in price. That's cool. It's a uh, it's a gimbal stabilizer. That you can also control like that with the remote control. I just don't typically use a gimbal or a tripod, but I'd like to have... That one's nice. I might consider that one. Well, here is the uh, wall of cases. I guess that's the Apple clear one. Which they don't have any, at least for that size. Maybe for your size. Yeah, they have them in. I think this is yours. Is this yours? Oh, no, that's an XR. Oh, that's right. They had them for certain models of the last one. Uh, I wonder if these are all the same. I don't know. So these, these are Otter? Yeah, those are Otter. Yeah. See the clear... It doesn't have an Apple logo and it's just completely clear. So I have on this one, which I can't very well show you, already a clear one. I thought I might get a clear one here too. That's the portfolio. Yeah. Does it hold like a, yeah, it holds like cards. I had that for my iPhone 10. I didn't really like it. Oh, they have the battery case, but that's gonna be, yeah, the XR. So a lot of this they won't have out yet because the phones just came out. 
I wonder if this is the Pro Max. iPhone 11 clear case. Yeah, it doesn't have anything. Just a nice clear, let your color show through. I don't think I'm gonna get that. I mean, cause it's, I mean, look at my clear case. It's, yeah, and mine has more protection. Hey, everybody, look at them on the bottom. Yeah. Apple's cases, they don't protect the oh, bottom yeah, because they open. want the speakers to come out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when you're filming and such, you, I may need it. But now what I may do is get a different case because I like to have multiple case options, you know, like a little peachy peach, a little lello. You never know. This is what daddy wants. I need to get a new 15 inch MacBook Pro. Woo! Woo! Will you get me this, Victoria, for Christmas? This one on the right here? That one? Will you get me that one? The, oh. No? That's a bit over my budget. Well, okay, the entry level. That's a bit over my budget. Oh! No. Well, we've stepped out of the Apple store. They did not have any of the watch bands I would have bought in stock. And I decided against the case. And now, the real big boy toys, the Tesla showroom. I don't have that big boy toy yet, but I want it, Victoria. Victoria, will you get me instead that Tesla Model X? No? Absolutely not. How much do you think that one is with the cockpit door? Way too many dollars. Probably like 120. That's, I don't have that kind of money. If oh. I'm buying that, I'm buying it here. Well, doo doo. We entered the danger zone and walked in. This is a Tesla Model 3. You can't buy from here because Tesla's not allowed to sell direct to you in a store. You just can see them and uh, and then order it online. Look, look at, how does that open up? Oh, ooh, look at that, that the display. Oh man. These are affordable though. They're like in the 30s to start with, but uh, if you want all the action, it's going to continue up from there. You're going to get in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Well, I'm in the Model 3 with a humongous screen. I, think, I mean, that's my hand. That is fantastic. So, yeah, we're here at the Avalon. Let's see. Oh, I guess that changes it to that. What else? Can I, oh, I guess everything's on here, right? I turned on the air conditioning, heat, defrost. Oh, I don't need a heated seat, no. Energy. What's that do? Start a trip. Calendar. Oh, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth. That's cool. Huh. Look at this great sunroof. I could make this work. I'm gonna tell you all that right now. Now we're outside at the Model X. He's gonna, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that. That's crazy. You want that one, Victoria? No, I don't think so. Is this the one you'd want? Whoa. What? That oh, thing is a TV. That's bigger <laughs> than the one in the other one, I think. I think so. That's the Model X. That's big baller. And then that's the Model S over there by Victoria. We got to go to the concert, though, don't we? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Next awesome. time, Tesla's. Well, we've had to flee because it's time to go to the to the concert. And not accidentally buy a Tesla. And not accidentally buy a Tesla. I've wanted a Tesla for like five years, four or five years, since, or ever since that Model S was released in the affordable range. Well, it's not it's expensive, but within reason, under a hundred thousand uh, dollars. But the Model Three, especially, I did not know that they were readily available, and we had a nice conversation with the lady in there. If you don't know Tesla, you can't, you, uh, well, cars in general, you have to buy from on site dealerships. And Tesla doesn't have that model, so they're not allowed to sell physically. And there's a, a lot of old laws from unions that uh, control that. So you can just look at them there, drive them, drive, test drive. You can't buy it there. You have to buy it online and get it delivered. But she was very helpful, and I got some good information. So, you know. In the next few years, so it's gonna happen, do you think? It could be. Yeah, I'd like for it to. Leave that Model X, though, that Model X, the SUV that opens oh, up like that, that, that thing can be like $250,000. Oh, yeah. It's nasty, though. <laughs> so here we are walking. We just parked back yonder and uh, through those trees is the Ameris Bank Amphitheater, previously the Verizon 
amphitheater, I believe, right? Oh, there's yeah. a Tesla Model 3 right there, actually. See, that blue looks nice. Yeah, that's the blue. You want to ask him, can you have it? Can I do a quick test drive? Is that a Model 3 or a Model S? They're so close that it's hard for me to tell. I think that's a 3, though. It's got a little short booty. Oh, yeah. But we're here. Concert starts in about 50 minutes, so we are made good time. Killed time at the Avalon. Had some fun. Are you excited for this? Yeah. I, I don't really know what to expect. I don't either. I just I know everyone says it's wonderful. Yeah, everyone that goes well. Good times. Great oldies. Well, we're inside now. There's the amphitheater. I hear music that sounds like Game of Thrones to me over there. Oh. Almost tripped and fell. What? Almost tripped and fell. Is that because you're trying to go to Top Shelf Liquors over there? No. Now, still with the uh, H1N1 going on. That's all the cheese. Uh, I wonder if there's actual Game of Thrones merch somewhere. Let's look. Going down the steps. Ooh, King of Pops. Yell out, rub it. Oh, there's King of Pops. No, oh, rub it. All that King of Pop celebration and Victoria just walked away. <laughs> There's some t-shirts though. You think we can get in the lounge if we slip on the 20? Think it's gotta be like a hondo? Ooh, do we want a shirt? Mm. So we just walked over here toward our seats. Nah, that's gonna be tremendous, I think. That's just gonna be really neat. What do you think? I'm excited. The orchestra up, hit up on the stage there. The Iron Throne. Yep, yeah, Iron Throne. I'm excited. This is the actual view from our seats, which uh, is really good. Thank you, Victoria, for these seats. It's wonderful. And then if you look here, you can also get like the general mission on the hill, which honestly seems uh, terrible to me. I would not want to sit on the hill the whole time. But it is uh, very affordable seats up there. So what are your thoughts so far? Really excited. I think we have really cool seats. Look at this situation. We arrived right on time. I mean, just the... Uh -oh. oh, I'm out That's on not my that. Job. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm, not for me. So we snuck back out. I got us each a poster because they just look really cool. And Victoria's got a uh, King of Pops. What flavor did you get? Strawberry? Strawberry and she's thinking about going to flirt with that gentleman that's uh that helped us with the posters yes go over there and holler at him just for a moment there's a reason oh they drove on up there they're getting on the stage that drove on so cool okay so i'm recording this at intermission but this is time travel because you're going to watch this before i don't know how much footage i can put in i don't know what youtube's going to detect but if you have not finished Game of Thrones and care, don't watch any of this. Wait yeah. until you see us at, in the car or Walmart or something. Because yeah. this is, it is just one massive spoiler. Anything you see on the footage will be spoiler. Yeah. So we're halfway through and it's awesome, but it's spoilerific. Yes. will be boiled alive in the blood of their children. <laughs> I didn't hope you enjoyed the show. And if you should see me afterwards, do not approach. I find contact with my subjects extremely distasteful.
Sai da voi! intermission Victoria what do you think so far it's wonderful yeah, it's um very immersive I don't I think it's only four by the time you're watching this there may only be two or three shows left yeah maybe ever they may not tour it again there's yeah. this is a very limited run um but it's incredible it's inc if you're a fan of Game of Thrones it's, yeah. it's perfect yeah, it, it really is the is. perfect kind and of it's end. It's unlike anything, unlike I've, anything I've else. Yeah. yeah, because they've it's got a tone thing. It's way more than a simple extensive cut-ups of scenes and yeah. weeping. There's weeping. All of that. Cheering. Also, like the Night King's weeping up there himself with the tears of snow.
concert's over. Yeah. Westworld music is playing, uh -huh. so we may not be able to talk long, but what'd you think? Bum, bum, so, bum. so good. It's incredible. We'll talk more in the car where Westworld music's not playing. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Because they're both composed by the same person, which is why they're not playing with Ramin well, Jawadi. Think. And he is... Top is, shelf. Yeah, just... Oh, oh climber! <laughs> now we're in the car. In the shadows. Because the parking lot's almost empty, which is good for us to leave. Mm -hmm. So, what did you think? That was wonderful. What was your favorite part? That's was hard, because there were multiple times when I said, Yeah! And then there are multiple times where I shed tears. And so it's hard to know, like, what I say my favorite part is, is when I screamed out, yeah, because um, Ramsey was about to be eaten or because Aria was feeding a pie <laughs> or was it when I was openly weeping because of Brienne I or think because of the Stark the, the Ginny Old Stones was beautiful. That was probably the best. It was yeah. beautiful. That whole, yeah. Uh, and I think, um, and the, my favorite song from Game of Thrones is Winds of Winter, where yeah. Daenerys set sail for Westeros. Um, that song, because it was created out of the pages of the book, and it's not really a song, they wrote it, kind mm -hmm. of. Um, but the, the, the chorus, where they're singing, she never wanted to leave, is... It's like it's also written for the audience. It's the audience singing. They don't. They don't ever want to leave Game of Thrones. They don't want to leave this world. Right. And uh, so to hear it in kind of the finale thing that we'll do. Uh, I mean, you know, we'll still be going to cons and stuff like Game of Thrones forever and ever, and panels and rewatches and all that. Right. But like in the first run of stuff, right. it's kind of the end. And there are the two uh, prequels coming out. But yeah. I thought that was very good. And the the lady that sang it was just fabulous. It was beautiful. It was very haunting. Yeah, very good render. The the orchestra was fantastic. There's in the chorus. Uh, you should go see this if you get a chance, or something like this for your favorite. Uh, you know, I, we've seen like some pops orchestras mm -hmm. uh, for like uh, the Atlanta pops orchestra plays Star Wars or Marvel or stuff like that. Um, that's different than this usually because it's just the music, and this had so many scenes, two hours of footage. As well as, um, and probably produced by HBO, yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's like, very it's, high quality. It's very high quality. Um, but you can go see, like, the orchestra here is playing, like, one of the Prisoner of Azkaban, I Azkaban. think, Harry Potter, and they're just playing the score of the movie, I think, right. while you watch it. Right. This makes me think an experience like that would be pretty cool. So, um, anyway. it was also neat because you got to experience these things with other fans. Yeah, stadium and so events. The people cheering at certain times. Yeah. And it was just, it was a cool feeling. And by the end, we were booing people. It was very yep. fun. Yeah, they did a, a nice, nice... I, I, hopefully I showed you the in memoriam where they showed all the deaths, um, which is cool. I think uh, without spoiler, because you're probably watching this uh, thinking that we're done talking about spoilers. Um, the big Aria moment, I think, mm -hmm. got the loudest mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That got cheer. a double cheer. That was great. Yeah. And they paused and waited for a second a pause, which is interesting because, you know, that moment was somewhat criticized when it happened. Or it mixed, it split the fandom. Yeah. But not here. No. Everybody was in on it. People so, were in on a lot of stuff here. This, uh, that Arya moment. Oh, yeah. And lots of Tyrion love as well. A lot of Tyrion love. Yeah, he got a lot of love. So Victoria actually provided this for us to go, so thank you to Victoria. You're because It's incredibly memorable. Um, yeah. One of my favorite things that I think I've ever gone to, live type show. Uh, so it was wonderful, and we had to go to Walmart to get uh, frames for a poster, so talk to you at Walmart. Is that exciting? Well, I have to be at work in like six hours, so not really. And you're like three hours away And I'm also kind of sick still, if y'all can't tell. Oh, oh safety! Oh. We're in Walmart. We're, uh, that's happening. And what are we here for? I don't know. <laughs> it's midnight. Midnight. I have to drive home and go to work tomorrow. What time are you leaving in the morning? Seven. Well, that's that's still adequate sleep. Uh, we got less sleep than that before we went to Bubble Fest. It's true, but that was not when I had to work. Yeah. That gas I passed earlier was no good. Oh, oh frames for the posters because I want to send you home with a framed poster, yes? That's awesome. Oh. Back at the notorious frame aisle. Found the 218 by 24s. What do you think that person thought about the flatulence that was on the Instagram? I think she was happy. We are home and look. Got her framed on the wall. That's us with the penguins. And John Cena and why can't I touch it? There's Victoria piddling. 
can show you hers. Maybe you can see it a little better here. Yeah. So it's very cool. Sorry, Link. It's got the orchestra. It's got Drogon's eyes and then the thrones. It's such a cool poster. It's hard to show you with the reflection, but it looks great. Victoria's got SARS virus. But yay. That will end this episode of Dub Life. Uh, a wide-ranging one. We've been all over the place. We've been to Mom and Dad's, Sheely's, uh, Game of Thrones, lots of stuff. Football. David, I've been David sick Hull. for seven years. Yeah, Victoria's been sick since Dragon Con. Yeah. So, and uh, Dragon Con, I didn't film for a full week. Then there's been another episode, then this episode. So that's how long it's been since you've been sick, which is coming yeah. up on like three weeks. It's, it's coming up uh, on three. Yeah. Sun, Thursday will it's be three weeks than, since Dragon Con. Well, and I got sick. No, I got sick on like September 1st. So. Oh, the whole month. So <laughs> she's got pig flu. Um, but hope you enjoyed the episode. We had fun at the concert. I don't know how much I could put in there, but hopefully a, a fair amount. And uh, we'll be picking up again in just a couple days for what's the next episode? Luca Mates. Luca Mades, that means squeeze it.